Hello everybody, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Yan. I hope you are all doing well and have been enjoying any football you're able to watch at the moment. Probably bad pre-season games. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Chelsea's teenage Welsh wonder kid, Ethan Ampadu. But as per, before we get into the video, I'd like to request you please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you can keep up to date with my content. Again, only if you've been watching my content and you enjoy it. I only want my subscribers to be people who legitimately like, watch and enjoy my content. So, who is Ethan Ampadu? Ampadu is an 18 year old midfielder slash defender who plays for Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea picked up Ethan Ampadu from Exeter City Football Club where he made his senior debut for their first team at just the age of 15 years old. Understandably, that was a record for the club. But as this video goes on, you'll probably begin to understand why Ampadu fits into senior football so easily at such a young age. And then by the age of just 16 years old, Ampadu had got his senior call up to the Wales national team doing bits at such a young age. Chelsea have obviously kept an eye on this youngster tearing up the scene and by the time he was 17 years old he was a Chelsea player. In September 2017 Ampadu made his Chelsea debut in the League Cup against Nottingham Forest. He came on as a midfielder in the 55th minute to replace Cesc Fabregas. This debut made Ampadu the youngest player to play for Chelsea in 10 years and it's the first Chelsea player to make his debut that was born in the 2000s, I feel old. And in December 2017, Ampadu made his Premier League debut against Huddersfield, so doing bits as a 17 year old. Chelsea coach at the time, Antonio Conte, was very very impressed with Ethan Ampadu's ability, but as that sort of quintessential Italian coach, he was probably more reluctant to play a kid so young in high profile games. But due to Ampadu's sheer level of ability, he forced his way into the team for a few appearances. Ampadu was being noticed more and more by people in football, like the media and journalists. In fact, football journalist Matt Law visited Chelsea's training centre at Cobham and by the looks of what he saw, he came out and said he thinks that Ethan Ampadu is Chelsea's most talented centre-back player. Anyway, Conte left and as one Italian coach said goodbye, another one came to Chelsea. Yes, it was the arrival of Maurizio Sarri. Sarri was also incredibly impressed by Ethan Ampadu and at that time where people were gushing over Callum hudson Adoy and kept constantly asking Sarri about Callum in press conferences, Sarri was always really quick to talk about Ethan Ampadu and how highly he rates him also, probably equally in terms of a young talent. But Maurizio Sarri did struggle with Ethan Ampadu. He obviously saw how talented and good he was, but he didn't know where to play him within his system and was unsure where to put him. Right, so I've spoken about how highly rated Ethan Ampadu is, but there is a positional situation here, so let's have a look at some positions. Sarri deployed Ethan Ampadu in a whole host of different positions in his dogmatic 4-3-3 system. Initially, uh, he played him as a right sort of centre mid, a sort of one of those higher up midfielders. Uh, he played him as a centre back. He tried him in that deep midfield regista role. And rather interestingly, he tried him out also at right back, which I found quite peculiar. Ampadu generally performed quite well in a lot of matches, except maybe that regista role where I think Although he's very technically good on the ball and has great awareness, it might have come too soon and it was a little bit of a disaster when he played him there. Sari's problem with not knowing where to play Ampadu left him in the dark a little bit and sadly for Ethan, he actually got an injury which kept him out for a lot of the season afterwards. It's okay though because he rehabilitates from his injury and the, the circle of life at Chelsea continues once again. Sari departs the club and in comes Frank Lampard. So by this point Ethan Ampadu has been playing under decent, well very good Italian coaches in Antonio Conte and Maurizio Sarri, learning two very different tactical approaches and he's quite a, a player with good application so he's taking it all in and now he gets to play under uh, an English coach that he can probably communicate better with who's a lot younger and probably a bit more in touch with him. Frank Lampard has already tested out Ethan Ampadu in a deep midfield two in a 4-2-3-1 formation and boy did it suit him, he looked fantastic. He started to look like that kid again that everyone's been freaking out over over the last, I guess, like 
four odd years over different clubs. He was superb in that midfield position. You see, the thing is with Ethan Ampadu is he's a very aggressive player. He doesn't look particularly strong, but he is. He's a very aggressive player in the tackle. Now, I'm not saying he makes bad tackles. He makes clean tackles. Like, there's multiple examples over the last few years where He's playing in games against opposition players that are literally twice his age and he'll put in a clean tackle on them and they'll stay down or have to get treatment or even come off, you know, he'll go and apologise. He hasn't done an illegal move but he's so good with his sort of physical interceptions that he really sort of puts it on the opponent. But Ampadu is not just a brute, he's a very technically gifted player. He can do incredibly good long accurate passes immediately as well. He doesn't have to get his head up for too long, he makes quick passes and you can tell the coaching under Maurizio Sarri did help his tactical awareness. The way he moves around, he occupies the correct space to make the best defensive action, giving himself the best opportunity to succeed in a defensive action because he's allocated himself appropriately. And also that helps him in passing. So he, you know, he offers himself available for a pass, to receive a pass, or, you know, to deliver the best pass. Basically, very good tactical awareness. So midfield does suit him very well when he's playing in that two, the sort of engine room role. He's very good defensively and he can pass, but you know what? All these attributes are perfect for a modern day centre back as well. So he could be equally as good at playing centre half. Centre halves these days need to be able to be good with their feet, make long passes and obviously do the aggressive tackles which he can do, have the tactical awareness, knowing where to place yourself which he can do. I mean I'm not quite sure how good he is with his head yet and obviously a modern day centre back needs to head the ball well but generally he seems to have it all to play both defensive midfield very well and centre half. Alright that's enough of looking at Ethan Ampadu's position. Regardless to whether you play him in defensive midfield or centre back, I'll say those two positions because they look like the two positions that suit him best. Ampadu is built for English football at the highest level, the Premier League. He's very tactically aware, therefore he can make quick passes. Like, what do we know about the Premier League? You've got to be fast and you've got to be physical. Ethan Ampadu has both those attributes and I tell you what, above all that as well he's a commanding player he doesn't shy away from things and I'm sure you can see that in his you know physical defensive approach but he's commanding he's vocal he's all in and that's exactly what you want from a top tier Premier League team player he has it all he's got so much experience at such a young age and it looks like it looks like Chelsea have picked up an absolute gem that genuinely could become a world-class player, provided he continues applying himself like he has been and he doesn't sustain any more injuries. But the trajectory he's on, the incline he's on is absolutely superb and watch this space. Right guys, that's the end of my video on Ethan and Purdue. I hope you've enjoyed it. As per usual, I'd like you to get down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts on Ethan and Purdue and the video in general. If you did enjoy the content, please do like the video as that helps me a lot. Obviously subscribe to the channel if you liked the content too. And a quick plug for my Patreon. If you want to support me and keep the channel alive, you can donate one dollar a month and that also gives you access to exclusive videos that only patreon members can see the link is down in the description that's it guys thank you so much for watching enjoy the football and i'll see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck i'ma get it how i'm living i'ma walk the walk outline my lines i rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chuck in my life seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble, I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby.